welcome to Candy Shop Yarns, where everything is sugar-free and high in fiber. Today is March 21st, um, and I thought that I would just do a vlog for today. Just share some of my day and what's been going on, what I have planned, what I'm going to be doing. I've already had a doctor's appointment this morning, and now I'm going to sit down and work on my Easter my countdown to Easter project. I thought I'd show you what I'm, what I've started. I am making the pretty, the pretty bobble sweater by Mon Petit Vailon. Not sure how to say that. I purchased this on Etsy. This calls for a sport weight yarn. Um, or a light DK weight yarn, but what I, I'll show you what I'm using. Um, I did an Easter swap with some friends, um, where we're doing a 12, 12 mini skein swap. We're doing 15 days. I'm making this really hard. 15 days, but 12 of those days will be mini skeins. So, um, my sister Emily, she is from the Yarn Brary, from the Yarn Brary. I mean, she's, she's the owner of the Yarn Brary. <laughs> um, she is the one that ended up getting my name. So I have lovely yarns from Emily and let me show you my progress so far. Isn't that beautiful? So we're doing fingering weight mini skeins, but I added a strand of mohair, bare lace weight mohair to it to um, have more of a sport weight because this yarn is a very light fingering. Um, it's a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, where there's like 400 and 63 yards per 100 grams, something like that, or 90 yards per mini, I think. I think that's, wait, I can, I can tell you. 92 yards for 20 gram minis. So that's a light fingering weight yarn. Um, and I just really wanted to crochet. I was just in a crocheting mood and I have another crochet project I wanna cast on. Actually, I have two. I might cast on today, cast on. I might start today. Uh, so this one is worked bottom up and the pattern, you know, doesn't have you changing yarns, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just um, going until I run out of yarn. Well, not quite. Um, I'm, I want to finish a full round. And then when I don't have enough to do another round, that's when I end but I've used up most. Let's look in my little bag here. So I had this much left from one color and less, this much left. This is from my first color. Why is it not focusing there? There we go. Um, I'm starting with Emily's spring poetry mini skein set. That's what she gave me in day one. Not one mini, but five. So I got to pick what I was going to start with. So I started with this one. Let's see how it looks compared to with the mohair. Oh, this is going to be, no, there we go. That's an easier way. It just softens it a tiny bit. but I didn't have any left of this one. I actually ran out um, and had to pull from another mini skein, but you really can't even tell it, so it's, it's fine. And then I knew I wasn't going to have enough minis from this swap to finish this entire sweater, so I went into my stash and I have more minis that are from Emily that are the same base that I thought would look nice in it and I wound those up. So I have an, I have an assortment to pull from. 
And so, what? So I need to finish yesterday's. I almost finished all of, of yesterday's. And then today, I'm going to do one of these two. Oh, now it's hard to decide. One of these three. So after that purple, I'm gonna do one of these. I have to decide which one. So I have this, oh, I have this in my bag that Emily gave me in our swap that came with all of those minis. It's super cute. The hook that I'm using is a 3.75 millimeter hook. I think it calls for, a I don't know, actually I can't remember. <laughs> Maybe it'll tell me here. I remember it took me a while to find, oh, 3.5 millimeter. Why did I go down? No, I did a bigger one. I did a bigger one because I am quite tight when I crochet compared to most crocheters. But I've been trying to be a lot more relaxed with it. Um, I did do a gauge swatch and it was close, but not quite on. And I decided not to change my hook but I am doing the second size, which is a size medium. My gauge was actually a little bit big and I decided I liked that because then it would be just a little bit bigger around, like a little more slouchy, hopefully. So I'm hoping this is, hoping this will be drapey enough. We'll see. yesterday for my mother's birthday I wore my favorite white blouse it was a brilliant idea because I stuck my sleeve in this I think it's a harissa sauce And without realizing that I had stuck my sleeve in it, then I put my arm down and got it all over the front. Where is the sleeve? Now it looks, <laughs> now it's like, oh, it's not bad, but no, it's bad. And it's all down the front of my shirt. So I came home and I put some stain remover on it and let it soak for a while. Then I scrubbed it, nope. So then I put it in a cleaning solution and let it soak overnight. It looks exactly the same. You know, here's the interesting thing. When I want to dye something, dye fabric, I can't seem to find anything that will be um, wash fast and not bleed. Well, this seems to be <laughs> wash fast. I cannot get the, I mean, it looks exactly the same. Ugh. I am so sad because this was the blouse of my dreams. I finally decided I am at a point in my life where I can wear white clothing and I can have fine clothing and take care of them. And I can have beautiful staple pieces in my wardrobe, but apparently I can't. So now I'm trying to figure that out, what to do.
So I think I'm going to try, actually, I'm not sure. I'm going to get online, see if I can find any other solutions. But let me show you something else that's so sweet. Yesterday, I hear a little knock at my door in the morning as I'm getting ready. And I look out and there's my granddaughter holding this vase with flowers. And she brought that for me. My daughter also brought some dairy-free chocolates and a drink and said, happy early Easter. It was so cute. So my granddaughter picked these flowers out and I've just left them like this because they're just sweet. So now I think I will take them out of here and arrange them. Okay, so this fabric is polyester and after looking up methods of stain removal, this is what we have white vinegar, baking soda, and peroxide. So we're going to start with the vinegar method. If that doesn't work, we're gonna to go to the baking soda method. And if that doesn't work last of all, we're gonna to go to hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna do this one last because I do worry about it damaging the fabric. But if nothing else is working, then it's worth a shot because then, you know, this is not salvageable anyways. So it says to mix vinegar with water and spray it on let it sit for a few minutes blot and reapply until the stain is gone we'll see nope baking soda i'm going to get some of the paste on here let's see if i can do this one-handed Nope. Wait, I found one more. One more thing before lemon pro before <laughs> hydrogen peroxide, lemon juice. Because hydrogen peroxide bleaches and this is a cream colored shirt and I'm just worried about that. <sighs> nope. Okay, I moved to the hydrogen peroxide solution. I have applied it three different times at three different strengths of dilution with zero improvement. Okay, I just finished that row. So the bobble row is worked on the wrong side. And then I turn it around to be right side out and go the other direction to do the next row round. But now that I finished that section, Let's see how much yarn I have left of this color. Not enough to do another round, but I will have all these little tiny bits of yarn that will be so cute to add into other projects or to make scrappy socks. There we go. So I've got these so far. All right, it's time to move on. I have a lot of things to get done today. I need to photograph a lot of yarn. I need to um, do some graphic design and send things out to print for my monthly minis club. I need to get the postcards printed, but I have to design those. I mean, it's I already have the artwork, but I have to get it laid out for printing and then yeah just a lot of photographs and I have bags I've been working on for a while I need to um, do some more sewing just a lot of prep for fiber festival but I know I won't have enough energy to do everything. So we'll just see what I can get done today. And when the energy is gone, then I will sit down and I will crochet some more and work on projects like that. Oh, I'm already worn out. I feel like I haven't even done anything. I'm fluffing mohair for my texture duos. Look at this. 
I'm sitting on a yoga ball, a stability ball, and it squeaks. <laughs> but um, I like to fluff up the mohair so it looks like cotton candy because that's what I call it. And it makes it easier when my customers go to wind it that it's easier for it to, yeah, come off of the swift and wind onto the ball winder. And then after that, I Yeah? I made you a bracelet. You made me a bracelet? I'm recording a video here. Oh, with <laughs> hot, like hot pink, and it ended sadly, the perfect size was, I think was the sadly? perfect size. Ended with two pink in a row. Oh, I'm like, what is sad about this? Okay, Nadia made me a bracelet. Like neon. Ooh, it is neon. That's cute. And it will match. I've never used the neon one, so I thought you'd like the neon ones. Thank you. These are so cute and dainty. Oh, I did make it the perfect size. Look at that. Is that, is that a good size? Because then it's not like sliding around. Yep. It is a perfect, because I don't, the I don't like wear, them. Huh? Yeah, I don't wear any others. Because you can't feel these. I don't like when they dangle, so this is... Perfect. Yeah. Thanks for making me a bracelet. That's really cute. Well, that was fun. <laughs> um, Nadia is going to apply for another job at a bead store. And I was telling Nadia the other day that she collects jobs like I collect hobbies because she just likes to work. She likes to work, so she just keeps getting another job and adding it on. None of them, she doesn't do a lot um, of hours at any of them. Like some of them are one hour, one day a week. Like that's her dance, like where she teaches ballet, that's one class a week. And one of them she does candle making one day a week for like two, three hours. So, you know, it's not like there's a lot, but, and then she has another job where she works two to three days a week for a few hours each. So she's not working a ton, but she likes to work. Okay, I've got one skein of the mohair, one skein of the truffle base, and I wind them together. And you see, they're not exactly the same size, but that's okay. Oh, let's get that again. <laughs> okay. And now it's a big fluffy, fluffy skein of joy. I have to mess with it a little bit so that it's tidy, even though it's a big fluff ball. I'm in my basement where right now it is, this little nook is the catch-all for everything while we are doing our home remodeling project, our bathroom. So we have all sorts of random things in here this is supposed to be the library slash um, toy play area for the grandkids. But right now, it's just holding a whole bunch of random things. All right, let's finish these up. Okay, my goodness, I have a pile of yarn here. These are the skeins I just twisted. And I'm trying to get them all piled in here with the other um, texture duo that I just dyed. So here's all the yarn that I have dyed recently that needs to be photographed. Well, not everything, but most needs to be photographed. They all need to be labeled. Some needs to be put in packages like my Mermaid Kingdom Collection minis. I have to photograph all of my Lisa Frank inspired neon colorways. Um, 
I need, I have new um, lemonade stand mini skein collection and I need to put together the boxes for those and put those in there and I have to make labels for them. I have to design that. I already did the graphic design for the postcards and got that sent over for printing. But honestly, I'm tired. After sorting through all of this <laughs> and hauling it up, I used up most of my energy. Let's give an update on this. Okay, I'm really proud of myself because I was feeling so tired. I thought I just need to sit down, put my feet up, but I have all this yarn out ready to work on and photograph. So I just decided, okay, Deborah, just do it. You can do it. There were certain colorways and groups of colorways that I really wanted to get done today so I could get them uploaded tomorrow on my website because I have customers that have been asking about it. So I did it and it didn't take as long and wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. So we end today's vlog back where it began with me sitting down, working on my Easter, my countdown to Easter project. And I think I'm going to do yellow next. Yes. So I'm going to add that into my sweater. And I'm going to work on some knitting instead of starting. Oh no. Instead of starting a new crochet project, I need to finish this test knit. And I just pulled my needle half out. So let's put it back on and then I'll show it to you. This is a sock test knit for my sister. It's called the Mountain Vista sock and I've finished one. It's very, very cute. And the second one I am working on the heel flap. So this goes pretty quick. I get to just enjoy the day doing that and relax. So thanks for joining me for today's crafty vlog and let me know if you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more vlogs like this or if you prefer I stick with my traditional podcast or maybe both. <laughs>